In this video, I'm going to show you how Pavan runs the best bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. My channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button. That way you will never miss one of these videos that we upload to the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're talking about Pavin and his gun bunch. We're talking about a specific play that he loves to use out of the New York Jets offensive playbook, and it's going to be the play Mesh. Now, if you've never ran the bunch before, you might know that I actually have a whole offensive guide on the gun bunch, and so if you want to get my gun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. You can get my entire Jets gun bunch, which includes... The bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset, you can get all of that for just 15 bucks. I put that link in the description. But today we're going over this play, uh, Mesh from the Gun Bunch. And this is one of Pavin's favorite passing concepts because it does a very, very good job at getting separation and open um, against things like zone drops and things like that. So if your opponent is running a lot of Mike Blitz 3, this is like the perfect passing concept uh, for that. Now on the, on the right side of the field, all we're going to do is we're simply going to streak the R1 receiver, we're going to smart route that circle receiver just like this right here, and then on the left side of the field you can kind of do a little bit of whatever you want to do. What I personally really like to do is put the square receiver on a smoke screen and put the triangle receiver on a smart route option route, okay? So that's kind of how my play is going to look, and all we're going to do is we're going to motion that circle receiver to the sideline, once he snaps he's going to basically hard outside pass lead to the right side, and as you can see, it torches the, the Mike Blitz 3. I, you know, I'll show you again, this is very, very consistent, it's very, very simple, but it's very practical. It's a great play if you want to um, just consistently be able to beat the Mike Blitz 3. All we're doing is we're smart running the circle receiver, we're putting a streak out there to that R1 receiver, and then on this left side, we're doing a smart routed option route with a smoke screen combination, and you're going to see that this thing will absolutely torch it. Now right there, Jair Alexander has the uh, deep out zone KO ability that is helping him kind of break down on the ball a little bit better. Um, most people don't have that ability on their corner unless you're playing in regs. And even if you are playing in regs, you know, typically, like I said, if you just wait on this a little bit, that's part of what we're looking for. And as you can see, it's an easy, easy dot on that left hand side of the field. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about another defense that you're going to likely see a lot, and that's a cover two Mabel. Um, whenever you're running gun bunch, people are starting to realize that running cover two is not exactly that hard or not exactly that, you know, not exactly that bad. Well, if you leave this corner route on its default route, you're going to see that it absolutely kills cover two to the outside. So if you're starting to get a lot of cover two, this is one little step that you can take against the cover two um, to deal with some stuff like that. So as you saw right there, I mean, a wide open dot. Now, if we were to run this play exactly the way we ran it prior to that, with a smart route and all of that stuff, you're still going to have a lot of success. You're just going to see right here, because he gets to the sideline so easily, and he's right there on the sideline for you. So if the cloud flat was dropping a little bit deeper, maybe the cloud flat was at 30 yards, and the curl flat was was the five yard uh, zone drop, then all you're going to have to do is just kind of launch that underneath. So you've, you've got a lot of opportunities to really be have a lot of success. Now, what about cover four drop? A lot of people might think that, well, cover four drop is going to be able to, you know, be very effective against this because of the fact that you've got that outside quarter zone. So let me just show you this against cover four drop. Again, you're wanting to kind of snap it right there. And as you can see, that cover four drop does not stop it. Every zone in the game, this thing is going to be very, very effective against. The one thing that it's going to struggle against is a little bit of man coverage. So um, if they run man coverage, what you're going to notice here is that the left or the right side of the field is pretty much taken care of. Um, you might occasionally get this circle receiver over the top of him, but as you can see right there, you know the routes are really taken off. Uh, you know the, the the defense is really able to take away everything that you want to do. So um, on that right side, if you know that they're running man-to-man -man coverage or there's potential that they could be running man-to-man -man coverage, you're kind of seeing that they might run it. Maybe it's a tendency thing. I would recommend putting that tight end on a little five yard out route. That tight end five yard out route is one of the easiest ways to beat man to man coverage. It also is a very nice little um, opportunity for you to be able to beat zone as well. And then on the left side, um, the smart routed option, option route here to the triangle receiver is going to be very, very effective against man. So 
this is just this is kind of one of the things that I've been talking about for a while now. But if you take your option route, it is going to matter. Your option route is going to almost always be open, um, especially a smart routed option route. Like with the way a lot of people like to play defense in this game, the smart routed option route is really, really, really good because the, a lot of people play five yard hooks. I could throw that right there, and of course I I got. Uh, lurked over the top there, but if I high ball that or something, I could probably get that into uh, to him. Let me try something here real quick. I want to show you. Um, I'm going to show you cover two real quick, and because we have because it has a little bit more yellow zone coverage, and I just want you to watch. I just want you to watch the running back. So everything else, you know, don't really worry about that, but mainly just focusing around the running back. So right there, and then I just high point it, and as you can see, he kind of just gets open just like that. So. That's what I'm talking about, that you can do that. That also beats man-to-man -man coverage, which is really, really cool. So uh, I believe the best offense in the game is the gun bunch right now. And so if you want to get my full Jets gun bunch offensive guide that literally shows you how to run this offense, um, how to run this offense as well as the bunch tight end and the trip tight end within the same uh, formation, you can get that in the description. I'm going to leave a link down there for you. You can get the entire offensive guide for just 15 bucks. So thanks for your time. If you have any questions, you can hit me up via text message. My number is 208-218-6900. Um, and if you want to get the guide, it is in the description. You can get it for just five bucks or uh, 15 bucks. Thanks.